What's popping with it, everybody? It's your Yo. girl, Rochelle, in yeah. the relationship streets with this brother right here who calls himself Frankie. Building healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. That's we're back we're at doing. it again. Are, are you ready? Because I'm, I, I'm, I, I heard a little bit about the post that you're getting ready to read from Reddit. We in them Reddit streets. In them streets. Today. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be in them Reddit streets? Come on with us. Now, now what, what, what are we talking about with today's story? We are talking about men sending mixed signals. Wait a minute. Men don't... That, that's a woman thing. No. That's a man thing as well. Because today, in today's world, y'all playing a whole lot of games out here. And when we get into this story, you will find out what it is I'm talking about. All right. Well, let's go. Let's hear it. I'm ready. Today's post from Reddit is titled, Confusing Man woman seeking advice. I'm a woman who is 48 years old, so I had a first date with a guy who is 49 on Saturday night. I thought it went great, but since then, he hasn't asked me out again. He's been texting me every day, a lot, but when I asked him if he was free later in the week, he didn't respond. Later, I asked if he was going to ask me out again, and he said, give me some time. I'm looking for a job, and it's overwhelming. He'd gotten laid off in January, but said he got a severance package of one year's salary. I get that he's stressed about his situation, but don't understand if that's really why he's not asking me out again. He even texted he wanted to see me again, but still did not ask me out. Have I been benched? I'm starting to feel stupid for wanting him to ask me out again, or to agree to me asking him out, which I tried to do. Also, I looked at his old profile after our date and noticed that he updated his bio, so that tells me he's still looking. What do you think? Should I just forget him and move on? Mm. Hmm. Mm. Very interesting. Uh, you know, it kind of sounds like maybe this person wants to drag you along a little bit. I mean, you're trying to communicate with him and say, hey, would you like to go out? Want to go get something to eat? Want to go get something to drink? And he's like, ah, you know, I'm looking for a job. I ain't got no job right now. And it's keeping me stressed out. And oh, la da la da 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 mm, Sounds like to me he might be kind of stringing you along just a little bit or keeping you as a, what is it called? Backup plan, maybe? Listen, listen. Just listen. in case he finds listen. somebody else out there that he is into. You know what I'm saying? And then he gets with this person and then, you know, you're out of the picture. All I can say is, ladies, this is just so interesting because when it came to the creation of a location that many men put women in <laughs> labeled uh, the friend zone, mm. this was something that the ladies love to do. And I'm not saying what the guy is doing is right. But well, it's just interesting how when the tables are turned, the ladies seem to say, oh, he's stringing us along. But when it's the ladies doing it to us, oh, you know, I'm, he's a good friend. Listen, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with being in the friend zone. What? But what? if you're going to put me... <laughs> Come on. But if you're going to put me in the friend zone, let me know I'm just a friend. Don't be, you know. Uh, Listen, a lot of the times, ladies, we we <laughs> wear our feelings right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. And when we're really into a guy, we have a real issue with hiding it. Mm -hmm. We do. That That's just who we are. When we are feeling somebody... We, we call our girls, girl, honey, I done this dude, he it, he fine, he this, he that, and the third. And it's hard for us to keep those feelings inside when we are really feeling somebody. Mm -hmm. But when the feelings aren't returned to us, we sometimes we don't know what to do with that. We just don't know. So we start fiddling around. Like, okay, so do you want to go get something to eat? You want to hang out? What's what? We need to know what you're feeling. What's up? Like, as Martin used to say on his show, like, what's up? Can you tell me what's up? Like, are we a thing? Are we going to be a thing? Are you feeling me? Are you not feeling me? I think we can take honesty a little bit better than being drug along by somebody. Well, and and I'm, I'm, I'm totally a fan of being transparent. But if you were to check a lot of uh, shows, just, just like Building Healthy Relationships, um, 
your average woman out there that we see on these podcasts, even a lot of the fellas, most would agree that dating might not be um, the best thing for anyone if you aren't secure in your finances and your job situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you have that, I, I, I know the ladies say a lot of the same thing, but in 2024, um, just the whole messaging of what it takes to be a real man and what women are looking for in these dating streets is is so confusing and so messy. <laughs> and just being a man who just got laid <laughs> off and going through those mixed bags of emotions with this crazy economy and everything going on, maybe he doesn't have the money to take you out, things of that nature, things that the world has told us as men, we need to be providers and be able to do these things. So that can be a shot to the ego of him wanting to take you out as well. I, I, I'm just I'm just coming up with some things that might, you know, be deterring him from saying, hey, I want to go. Because if she's paying for it, then when she has that conversation with her girls, y'all going to be, he a bum girl. He need to get a job. It, 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 these are some of these things that, that, that really mess well, with men's egos are fragile. Mm -hmm. And those are things that I, I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to come up with some things to make it not necessarily so much uses, but things that he may be experiencing. Does that and make he, sense? And it does make sense. And he very well could be feeling that way. Mm -hmm. But if he's feeling that way, why is he updating his profile online? <laughs> well, why is he well, messing around with? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm still out here in these streets. I'm still single. I'm still ready to meet new people. So apparently his financial status doesn't have a thing to do with his relationship status and what he wants to be or to be with or who he wants to be with. So that's why she mm. is saying, where are these mixed signals coming from, bruh? Like, you're telling me one thing, but you're updating your social media status as single or, or whatever the case. So what's up? Can we be honest? Can you just keep it real with me? Do you like me or not? Am I just, am I a phone buddy? You know, what am I? Am I just somebody you can talk to whenever you're feeling down or out or, you know, you needed somebody to uplift you, say some encouraging words? Listen, I, if you need to go to church, go to church. But you need to let me know what we are. What am I? Well, I mean, and this one I'm kind of torn. And I, and I love to hear feedback online because I am an advocate, ladies, for letting you know. And, and same things, table turn. When a man is into you. Mm. It's one word that will show you he's into you. He makes the effort. Mm. So this one's kind of a, a, a tricky one because he is making the effort. She's saying he's texting. They're having the conversations. He's just not meeting up with her for the dating side of it. So right. with that. Um, that would alarm me a little bit. That would, you know, that would send off my radar a little bit. Okay, he likes to talk to me on the phone, but, yeah. you know, he don't want to meet in person. He don't want to kick it. It, and it's, that would make but, me question. But that, that, that's today's world, though. So you know, yeah. it, it, it's a lot. Like you're you're trying to throw yourself back into the uh, to <laughs> to the dating times of when we first started. To dating. the nineties. But you know, a lot of people mm. as this is like some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. This is like the demolition man sex scene where you know dating today has totally changed. Where they people kind of want you around mm -hmm. when they want you around. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that, uh, that, that, that Hollywood, you know, we're, we're always together and it's, it's the couple goals and, you know, the yin and the yang. People just aren't as connected, I guess, if, if I'm going to say that, mm -hmm. as they were back in the day. That so, could be the word. So, so, so just because he's not always wanting to hook up with you but he's still communicating with you that's something now i the um the profile update mm -hmm. is where i'm having an issue um because i think if i'm giving that advice i think you need to really through these conversations text messages etc if you are trying to cut to the chase i think you need to cut to the chase and, and find out where he is. Because you may be thinking, I think we need to move into a serious relationship where 
he may be thinking that you're just friends. You're, mm-hmm. you, you're saying benched, but you know, as as the players would say, you might just be one on the roster. <laughs> so you really need to figure out: Are you just one of them on the roster? He's trying to go through, add to the team. He's looking for some free agents up in the market, update that profile. You know what I'm seeing? Or, or is it like I? I just get the vibe that you're looking for something committed. And not a lot of fellas are looking for that now. And not a lot of ladies are looking for that nowadays. True. So there needs to be definite communication mm-hmm. um, just in, in regards to, well, what do you want from me? <laughs> I, I don't know if it's that. I don't know if that's just too simple. What do you want no. out it, of this it's, relationship? It's called communicating. That's it. Let's keep it 100 and let's be real. Do you want something out of this or not? Because if not, I can most definitely kick it and move on. You know, that's not a problem. But I don't think it's fair to not Hmm. let this woman know how you are really feeling. I just don't think it's fair. I mean, if I could think of one word for this lady um, or for the the person writing this on Reddit, she, she gives off anxious vibes. And a man who truly is into you should make you feel comfortable and not anxious. When is he going to call? When are we going to get together? It just feels like you don't have any um, any any reassurances, any foundation. It, it, it just feels like you're you're kind of in limbo and it's driving you crazy because you don't know what he wants to do in the relationship and, it, and it's kind of giving you that anxiety about which I mean heck it's to the point and I mean God bless you we need you every week but it's to the point where he's driven you to Reddit to ask these questions Girl. because you don't know what's going on in your relationship right so I mean what advice um, or, or what do you think are some some signs that he might be coming around or things she should be looking for uh, well let's let's I'm gonna put it to you like this if <clears throat> this the way you, that you can really tell somebody is really into you is that they keep their word. I know life happens. I know things happen. But if this guy is like, you know, um, I know you want to get together. So let's plan something and let's stick to it. Let's right. let's get together this Saturday at five o'clock. I'm going to buy you dinner. We're going to hang out. Da, 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 da. And if he's sticking to those commitments, then to me, that's a healthy sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, right, right. But if he's saying, you know, oh, you know, we can get together next month sometime. I'll call you. I'll text you. Just look out for my text. And he never texts. He never calls. He's not committed to seeing you. Maybe he's just not that into you. But he doesn't know how to communicate that. But he likes you enough to text you and say, hey, what you doing, girl? I just want to check in on you. I, I just don't, you know, I'm just not feeling the way he's going about this relationship, whether, you know, it's going to be something serious or not. I just don't feel it. And I'm not feeling it for you. Like Frankie just said, you had to go to Reddit to ask everybody, yeah. what do y'all think? And if you have, and if you're having to come to social media yeah. for reassurance about somebody you're feeling and how, and, and this person may not feeling, may not be feeling the same way, then that's an issue. That's, uh, you know, flags is flying up, radars is going off, bells is ringing. You know, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's going to work out for you with this guy. Yeah, I, and I want to cut to the chase because we're, we're getting ready to wrap this up. Um, our advice. Mm-hmm. So w- within the last two minutes of this, my advice, if I'm talking to you, at least from how I would operate and a lot of men that I'm around would operate. If he were really that into you, he'd ask to spend time consistently. Mm -hmm. So it it wouldn't be just the one date. It wouldn't be the, you know, I'm I'm flipping my profile. I'm I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm making moves. I I do feel like, I don't know if the word is... You wouldn't be able to get rid of this guy. I don't know if the word is benched. If he's still reaching out to you, you're you're in the rotation. (laughs) In the rotation, tation, tation. <laughs> but you may not be a. You may not. You definitely ain't in the starting five. You definitely ain't getting no jersey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you. That that's what, if if you're if you can't handle um, 
not being here. And I want to I want to flip this one to you. Mm -hmm. Give you the last sixty seconds. If you can't handle being his priority, keyword his priority, where he's making time to be with you, I say you should move on. And I'll give you the floor. Yeah, move on, sis. You know, listen, life is short. And if this brother is playing around, telling you, oh, I'll call you, or I'll text you, or and on the on the flip, he's updating his profile on social media, he's not serious. Right. He's not serious at all because he wouldn't even take you through that. He wouldn't even waste time doing that. He'd be all up in your grill, all up in here, all the time, job or not. I think he's just, you know, some brothers out there just like to play and like to play the game. Right. And if you're not into it, then you need to step. All right. And that's all right here on Building Healthy Relationships.